I'm Jason and welcome to Technique of the Week. Um, we have a special guest star this week on Technique of the Week. Uh, his name is Kerry Brown. He uh, runs a Columbus store. And I'm going to let him kind of explain this technique this week, but we're going to be showing you how to um, scrape, a great way to scrape, scrape chips, a real easy tool that, that we kind of came up with by accident. So a few years ago, we were doing our expo, and we did a broadcast system that was time to scrape the flakes. We could not find a scraper. So traditionally, on flakes, we'd use a 16-inch flat scraper. We'd round the ends. We'd bend the metal handle to put a tilt to it so we don't have to bend clear over. Uh, so the only thing we could find was this topping smoother. It's actually designed for cementitious toppings that you can actually smooth it out. Uh, the great thing about this blade is it's nice and soft, flexible, already rounded, and already bent at a 45. I think that's a 45. And the nice thing with this is uh, it's not going to cut your flakes, uh, where with a 16-inch scraper, the blades tend to be a little stiffer. It's a lot easier to cut those flakes, which is not something you want to do. Uh, this is wider, obviously, and uh, it actually, in the end, acts like uh, a shovel, where you can actually pick the flakes up as well. So you're gonna put a little bit more down pressure on this than you would with a standard scraper, and you're actually able to scrape that floor faster and more efficient with this smoother paddle. Now you might have said this already, but does it help to have those uh, round edges? Absolutely, yeah, because uh, especially if you have a cove along with your floor, uh, these round edges make it nice so you're not digging into the cove, but also so you're not cutting into the floor. So uh, earlier I had mentioned you would round those corners off with a grinder, but then you just have to make sure that it's deburred too. So never a bad idea before scraping any floor to check your blade, make sure there's no burrs on it so you don't cut the flakes. All those flakes are laying across each other and they're sticking up in the air. So what we're doing is we're cutting them, smoothing them down, so that when we clear coat this, they're not poking up and the surface is more uniform. You notice how he's scraping them uh, different directions. He's scraping it uh, east and west, north and south, and then he's gonna go at a 45 degree angle also. That just makes sure you hit all of them from the uh, all different angles. The better job we do at scraping, uh, the nicer the top coat's gonna be. So after you're done scraping, or as you scrape, you're gonna build up flake from the scrape. You'll wanna dispose of that. So an easy solution for that is to use this as your uh, dust pan or your shovel. And Carrie, where can you, where could you buy one of these things? Well, the only place I know to buy these is at Deca Creek Supply. <laughs> it's a weird thing, I know. You guys are probably shocked. This floor, we vacuum it next, and then we'll be ready for our top coat. Um, that's it for this week's Technique of the Week. I want to thank my special guest host this week, Carrie Brown. Um, that's all, and thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.